I want you to close your eyes for a moment and imagine the house that you're sitting in cut in half. That's exactly what a section is and that's exactly what I'm going to show you today in ARCHICAD 25. Okay, so in the last video we talked about elevations and we left it relatively simple. Now we're going to introduce sections into our documentation and basically split our building in half to understand the construction and the fine details of what's going on. Now there are generic section markers set up in ARCHICAD that we can move across and utilize. So let's say we want to cut through that door and window and we also want to cut through that window there and the roof. The section markers are very similar to the elevation markers. The section is indicated up the top, S002 is the section itself and A400 is the page you will find it on that it has been placed on. If that bottom half of the marker is not visible or is blank for any reason, then you need to put your sections onto the layout book to be able to actually activate that marker automatically. If we start with the very basics going section 01, clicking into section 01, we will see that we have cut our building in half. We can see our slab here at the bottom, we can see our walls, we can see our roof structure, our windows and our doors. If we will start changing elements of this structure, we could understand and be able to actually differentiate the different systems. So if I click Command T on this slab we can change that to a concrete finish let's say tile floor and we'll see that automatically update now i do have my true line weight pen tool turned on and that's why we can see the differentiating factors of the dense dark lines compared to the lighter lines in the background if you want to change that view on screen view true line weight off and now we'll get a better understanding and a clearer vision of what's going on. As you can see, our CAD is very, very good at picking up the differences, so it knows exactly where the tile stop hard against that wall. It won't continue that tile all the way across or the street all the way across, but it will continue that concrete slab because that's how it would be built. If I was to click on this wall, for example, it is just a generic wall. Now, a generic wall won't really be very useful to us in any construction detail. So let's change that in this instance to a 150 brick veneer wall and we'll see a vast difference. Now there are traditional methods to showcase brick and timber, which is automatically depicted in ArcCAD if you use the correct template for your region. I'm gonna drag that wall now back up to the top, go to my ground floor plan, locate my slab and move that to the edge of my wall. So if I move that back 110 mil, come back into my section one, we'll see the slab stops in line with the edge of the brickwork. Now again, there are multiple ways that we can do this next step. The easiest way is to simply grab the fill tool, use our generic fill, drafting fill, concrete, and draw in our extended slab thickening. Now this isn't a details video in any way, shape or form. It's just showing you a generic section and how we can manipulate the elements. As you can see, this window is now sitting directly over and above our timber frame and leaving our air cavity between the timber leaf and the brick leaf completely exposed. So if we click on that window, go to our reveal face, change to minus 50 and most likely increase the thickness of that window as well to 110 millimeters and center it in the middle, we will then close that cavity properly. Same thing goes with the roof. If we go command T, we can change that roof to a relatively simple RBC, insulated battens, click OK and we'll get once again a completely different roof structure shown. Now in a section we can go through a lot more details. We can start using the detail marker tool. So if we select that detail, draw our square and click OK, it'll create our first detail. Next we'd probably want our window sill detail, our window head detail, our connection from top to toe and they would be our four details indicated on this page just that one section which would need to be very clear, very well articulated and very well annotated. If we then wanted to find one of these detail markers, we could simply click on this detail marker, open with current view settings and it would take us directly to that detail marker. Now that detail marker, we could change the scale down to bottom, potentially to a one in 10 scale. So we can detail that very, very heavily and actually articulate what we need to show. We could show insulation in our cavity if we needed it. We could return the plasterboard up the top. We could do a significant amount of architectural detailing to this one individual section. Now be very, very careful that once you start annotating and marking up this detail, if anything changes in the architectural 3D section, it will not automatically update in a detail because the detail is still 2D 
in ARCHICAD. So for instance, if we go back to our section and let's say we move that window back to zero reveal and our cavity was completely exposed, come back in to detail two, we would see that isn't updated until we right clicked on detail view and went rebuild from source view. That's when we would see our entire parameters change and if anything is linked, anything is connected to one of these fields, it will completely mess up your detail and you'll have to start again. So just be very wary that if you do one of these detail drawings, you do them at the very end when you know nothing further is going to change. Anyway, that's all for me today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you smash the like button down below and don't forget about the subscribe button. If you wanna check out the links in the description, there are a number of useful resources down there as well. As always, I will see you next Monday.